Okay, so we're going to look at objections to the resurrection of Christ. Objection one, the resurrection of Christ is was just Greek mythology similar to the dying and rising gods of Dionysius. The reply to that is the new scholarship that's been done by people like N.T. Wright have clearly shown that the Gospels are rooted in first century Judaism, so that's hit on the head. Second objection, the resurrection of Christ is not historical as it's developed from uh, Jewish myth. That can be hit on the head uh, quite clearly by this, is that when the Gospels are being written, and when Paul's epistles and the other epistles are being written, they use the Gospels, uh, they use the Old Testament in a couple of ways. Number one, to see if there's prophecy. If you look at the Gospel of Matthew, you will see the prophets are mentioned time and again to prove prophecies about Jesus Christ's life. Secondly, the Gospels, are, uh, the Old Testament is used as allegory. Uh, for example, Paul in Galatians uses about... Um, uh, about Abraham's wives, one is a symbol of one uh, history of Israel and the other one the history of unbelief. So that's another example. Uh, the third example is the uh, gospel writers, uh, Jesus and the apostles, using it for teaching. So they will quote a text such as the Lord quotes uh, Deuteronomy uh, on the issue of man shall not live by bread alone, etc. So these are the examples of how the New Testament uses the Old Testament. It does not use the Old Testament to build up a hist uh, some kind of false mythological history. It just doesn't use that in that way. And there's no evidence to suggest this. So people who use this kind of argument are just using subjective arguments. The next one is the resurrection of Christ did not happen as the gospel texts are contradictory. Uh, there's a story of um, two philosophers, Wittgenstein and uh, Karl Popper in a room and Wittgenstein picked up a poker and uh, went to poke uh, Karl Popper with it, a hot poker, and there were theologians watching this uh, and afterwards uh, they reported about what they saw but they reported it, the theologians, in different ways. Now they'd all seen the event but they reported it in different ways. And the, there are these so-called contradictions in the Gospels. Basically, it's, it, it's, it, it's the fact that the Gospels are looking at the situation from different perspectives. doesn't mean to say that they're contradictory. It just means that they're looking at it from a different perspective. And life is complex, and that's why the Gospels are complex on the resurrection and difficult to work out what happened here and what happened there. If there were false examples of history they would have been fabricated and they would have been simplified so that we could have read them in a w more convincing way but the gospels are being true to life and showing you the complexity and the messiness of what life is for the disciples when they saw Jesus and then the final objection is well uh, Jesus um, didn't rise from the dead because science says that miracles don't happen. Science doesn't say miracles don't happen. Science cannot say a miracle can happen and it cannot even say it, 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 it can happen or can't happen. That's, science can't do that. Science can only repeat a hypothesis and, and test it and test it. But How can you do that with a miracle when miracles just pop up here or they pop up there? It's not something you can put in a lab and analyse. All you can do is go to the data and analyse the data, the historical data, and on the basis of that data, be open-minded for you to investigate and, and, and whether you believe the testimony of the people who were given that evidence. Okay? So science is not for or against miracles. All right? We have seen the resurrection of Christ change lives and we have seen Jesus life is rooted in real history the fact that Jesus death and being buried by Joseph of, of Arimathea has good historical grounds finally it was demonstrated that the early church witnessed to the resurrection of Christ the main objections Greek mythology Jewish mythology contradictory accounts and scientific naturalist account that there are no miracles have all been dealt with now all skeptical views can never account for all the facts we know about the resurrection of Christ 
The only view that makes sense of all the facts is that Jesus rose from the dead. The choice before you is, do you believe the eyewitness accounts of the early church or the sceptical scholars of today? I hope that you come to know and trust the Lord Jesus Christ yourself. If you want to know the Lord, let's come before him and ask him to open your heart and to give it to Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that those who have heard this short lecture series on my booklet would be blessed. And I pray that you would open their hearts to the gospel, that they might come to know you and trust in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless them, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. And may they come to know you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening and God bless you.